大家好，我是无界班主任，这里是第五期的 PT 专题。时间不多，我们不闲聊，开始划重点。本期我们划出重点是 COVID 型 d i s c o v e image 图一到图四。我会给大家示范每一个图片如何去描述。OK， 首先我们看下第一个图片，经济不活跃啊。首先它是一个表格题，那这里的数字信息比较多。这个时候的话，我们不需要全部的数据去读，我们只需要去读相对来说比较重要的，或者说你认为比较好读的。OK。然后另外的话，这里的话文字信息你可以进行一一对应，进行比如说它是一个 federation 四十四点二和它对应，然后 wo 六十二点八和它对应，那这种对应的话是没有逻辑的，或者说是不需要按照一个准确的方式去对应，因为电脑的话不会去，它看不懂它的逻辑，所以说这个图片的话，我们可以这么简单去处理。As we can see, this is a table about economic inactivity through the generations. From this picture, we can see Federation, which has 44.2 years, which has full average life expectancy and age 15 years. From this picture, we can see War, which has 62.8 years, which has full average life expectancy. We can also see Baby Boomers, which has 32.7. Which is for average inactivity. We can also see Generation Y, which is 39, which is for inactivity share of life. We can see the largest number can be found in average life expectancy. The number is about 70. We can see the smallest number can be found in average inactivity. The number is about 9.4. To conclude, the lecture is very useful. Okay, 当然说错了一点，应该是 the picture is very useful. 在最后结尾的时候。好吧，你可以看到的话，就是刚才这里面的话，这个逻辑并不是很重要，因为我没有去遵循它。OK， 我们看一下第二个图片。第二个图片的话是一个流程图，它是一个小鸡生蛋，然后变成小孵出小鸡，再变成一个 adult chicken 这么一个过程。那也是用一个模板，然后简单的去描述这么一个过程里面这么一个关键词就可以了，并不用去说它的这一个用一个复杂的句子去描述这个过程。OK， 所以说你可以说成这样子。As we can see, this is a life cycle for chicken. From this picture, we can see there are different steps. We can see the first step is adult chicken, and then we can see the next step is egg, which is yellow. And then after four weeks or three weeks, it becomes a chick, and after about three months, it will become adult chicken again. And the most important information of this picture is about the life cycle of the chicken. To conclude, the lecture is very useful. OK， 我不知道为什么一直会说成 lecture， 但其实的话是要说 the picture。当然，如果考试的时候的话，你可以看到没有去改，对不对？就是说 lecture 说完之后的话，没没必要去改。包括这里的话，应该是四三个周，我说了四个周也没有去改，为什么呢？因为一改的话会影响你的流利度，好吧？对于这个题来说，流利度很重要，所以说你可以不用改它，错了就错了，过去就可以，保证流利度非常关键。然后接下来我们看下一个题，这是一个流程图。Okay, 也是一样的一个处理方式。As we can see, this is a sorry. As we can see, this is a flowchart about how to bring electricity to families. From this picture, we can see there are different steps. The first step is coal. The next step is power station. And then we can see it goes to transformer. And then we can see it is national transmission lines. And then we can see it will go to substation. And then it will go to houses, shops, and other buildings. The most important information of this picture is about how to bring electricity to family. To conclude, the picture is very useful. Okay, 这么一个过程的话，将图上的一个主要的一些字给读一读，然后套上模板就可以了。好，我们看看下一个，第四个图片。这是一个表格题，然后里面的信息相对来说比较简单。我们可以说一下 ，As we can see, this is a table about teaching as a career. From this picture, we can see final year students who want to be a teacher. Which is one percent, and then we can see graduate students working in teaching, which is seven percent, and then we can see employed in teaching field, which is ninety-five percent. The largest number is about ninety-five percent, and the smallest number is about one percent. To conclude, the picture is very useful because we can know a lot of information about teaching as a career. OK， 您看到的话，这里的话在结尾上可能和最后有一个不太一样，就是说在结尾上的话，可能说的比较长一点，和和前面三个不太一样，不好意思，结尾上的话相对来说比较长，是因为就是可以用来凑时间，好吧？就是如果你的信息比较少的话，我们可以将结尾说的长一点，也是一个模板，用来凑时间。OK， 那以上是我们本次话术重点。
，Describe image to 一到图四。OK， 大型世界知识无界，划完重点无界亦有界，好好练习吧，拜拜。